That looks silver to me right there. Oh yeah, that's a that's a seated. We had a great day yesterday. I was fun. It was fun. <laughs> All right, today we're going to hit the same fields we had here, but we're going to hit a little spot in the woods that Chris got some, a uh, little bit of pottery. And, a little pottery. And some glass in there. And a harmonica. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, Chris says he's got something round. Right here. Yeah, it's definitely round, Chris. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, she's still got the dirt cake going. Let me get my glove off here so we take a look at that thing here. Whoa. Yeah, that's a button, Chris. That is 100% a button. Any markings? Oh, colonial button? I don't know yet. Let's see if we see anything on front of this button at all. A little bit of, looks like it's got a little design on it. They did design. Uh, you know, they have some designs on a lot of these old colonial buttons. Definitely got a little pattern on it right there. Cool. Good job. First relic of the day. Good job, Chris. All right, I think we discovered a little dump in here. Let's see what we got here. That's a cork bottle, for sure. Oh, it's got something right on it. Oh, look at that. It says, H.C. Williams and Company, Norfolk, Virginia. We could probably look that up and get an age off of that right there. Yeah. Here, Pretty cool. It. What's in it? Uh, it's just some trash, water and trash in it. All right, we're going to keep looking around here. Pretty cool. Hi, right, just got a target, and I believe it's a mason jar top, probably. Yep. That's uh, the uh, seal that goes inside of it. I think we're in a dump, Chris. I think so. All right, here we go. All right, trying to dig a target out of these woods is tough, as you can see. Cutting through some decent-sized roots. I got my different shovel in here with me today to do it. And I finally found my target right here. And it's pretty cool. It's actually off of an oil lamp. This is where you turn, to turn the wick up. Should be a little slot right here for the wick to come up in right here. Somewhere. Yes, yeah, right there, I think. It's bent a little bit, but... Oh, straighten it out a little bit. There we go. We got it turned. Sometimes these will have some uh, marks on them. So we'll have to clean it up and get it home and see if we can find a date or something on it, potentially. Pretty cool. We're in a trash pit, I believe. Here we go. I got a number, I knew it was a lead number, like a bullet or something, but it is a piece of lead. Looks like it has a little bit of markings on it. Could be a lead seal. We found multiple lead seals in the field. Don't see writing, but I do see some marks on it right there. Chris, are you the button master today? I made a button right here. <laughs> oh, man. Right on here. Yeah. I do see something there, Chris. Let me get my glove off on that one again. It looks like it could have something on the front of it. Definitely a button. Oh, you got something there, Chris. Oh, that's gonna be a nice one. I, I, I see it. I can see a, see something on it. It's definitely gonna be uh, something on it. It might be an eagle, maybe. Cool. That's gonna be a nice one here. Two-piece button. Yep, definitely a two-piece button right there. Put it on there, and it's definitely a marked button. Um, we we'll to clean that up and check it out. I can't really see quite yet. What's on it? Kind of looking like an eagle with maybe a anchor on or something. Maybe maybe a um, marine button. I'm thinking marine button, but we'll have to clean that up. Good job, man. Can't make it out yet. Yeah, oh, I think I see it now. Eagle sitting up right there. Yep. All right, man. Good job. Cool. That's beautiful right there. All right, I think we found the button patch. I think I got a little button right here. Let's see if it's got anything on the front of it. Can't really tell right now. You see the tab back here, though, right there, I think. And it does look like it could have something on it. All right, let's see if we got anything on there. I don't know. There could be an eye on it. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's just a little decorative button, maybe. All right, that's an old, old axe head right there for sure. Look at that. That's cool. Definitely a lot of iron in this area, so we're kind of stopped and concentrating in here. Here we go. All right, I'm surprised the number of lead seals we found in this property here. Look at that. Right, you can tell that's got some kind of little writing on it or something right there. Pretty certain that's some kind of little lead seal. We'll check it out to close out. 
I believe they were hanging out in this area. Looks like they were doing some farming. Axes and hoes. We'll save it. All right, this area is still producing. Check it out. Can y'all see it? A little buckle. A little deep buckle in the hole here. This area was definitely occupied. We found Civil War stuff here and some other stuff, some buttons and stuff. So definitely was some activity in this area. Uh, we're going to keep grinning it off. Looking good. All right, I think we could have another buckle. Look at that right there. I think it's another, almost just like the last one. Pretty cool, though. I love digging this stuff like this, man. That is definitely a little deep buckle. Most likely Civil War time frame. Could be colonial, though. This area goes back to 1600, so don't ever know. Deep buckles are hard to date. All right, here we go. All right, right where I, right beside where I dug the buckle, I got a 39. So the buckle, I think, it was like a 42. It's like a 39. Still in a good range, I'd say. Definitely, uh, got to dig it, that's for sure. Let's see how it's out. Definitely in that clog right there. And at one time I filmed it, it going to be a piece of trash probably. But that's all right. It is what it is. You know, you sit here and you don't know when to dig or not. Uh-oh. It's something small or something. I don't know. I can't find it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see something down there. Hold on. It looks round, too. Oh, my God. What is that right there? It got a little bit of a... Oh, man. Look at that. That's going to be a coin, I think. Oh, I don't know. What is... Yeah, it's a coin because there's nothing on the back. Oh, man. I think that's going to be a... Be an Indian head, probably. But I'll take it all day long. I'm thinking Indian head. Pretty cool. Awesome. Let's see what we got there. Yep. That's an Indian head. Awesome. All right. I'm going to keep digging. Here we go. All right, guys. I think I know what we got here. It gave me a great signal. Let's clean it off just a little bit here. I'm going to show you exactly what this is right here. I found uh, many of these in the past. It's an umbrella carousel uh, holder right here where the little umbrella pieces would come up through each one of these little twines right here. Uh, Button Master, have you done anything? I have. I've got another button. Another button? The Button Master's got another button. And and he said... Uh, it looks like an eagle and an anchor. Uh, I'll let you play with that. All right. I think you're right. I think I see an eagle on there. I did. I'm pretty sure I saw an anchor under the eagle. Eagle and an anchor. Yep. That's a marine button. Could be Civil War. Most likely Civil War, but... Could be a war of eighteen twelve. Yeah, I'm, it's coming in now. And Excellent. Then, and then this here. Oh, Indian head. Did you? Can you read the date? Eighteen ninety eight. Perfect. Awesome, man. Good job. Man. Hi. Right, we got something around in the hole here, and it that looks silver to me right there. Oh yeah, that's a that's a seeded. That's not a barber dime. That's a seeded. That is beautiful. That's gonna be an eighteen, probably early eighteen hundreds right there. Man, loving that. All right, let's keep digging. All right, we're still picking up a few little buttons here and there. I just picked up a couple. There you go, right there. We'll check it out. Close out, see if it's got any kind of design on it. Another amazing day, Chris. It was a lot of fun. Oh, my God. I can't believe how much we've gotten out of this field. I th I'd pretty much given up. And you kind of brought it back to life for me, man. Well, you, you found the seat of liberty today. <laughs> I did. Silver today. Both days Both silver. days. So that's pretty good. Anyway, we'll get home right now and clean up. And Man, we got a couple things we got to clean up. You we ready? Do. Yes, we do. Let's do it. Here we go. Take care. <laughs> All right, Chris, I had another amazing day today. The field that I kind of had almost given up on um, is producing like crazy now. I, Chris is definitely giving me a shot on the arm and... Uh, Got me back out in that field for sure. And we're going to be going back again. Let's check it out. All right. Did hit one of those spies y'all saw. This right here. H.C. Williams and Company. Norfolk, Virginia. I think it's real early 1900s. Uh, axe head. Hoe blade right there. Um, mason jar lid. Official mason something right there. I'm looking for the mason jar with all the gold in it. But I haven't found that yet. A uh, couple of nice little buckles. Deep buckles. Uh, some, just some... That's a lid right there. That's a harmonica reed. A little leather rivet. That is an umbrella carousel that holds the umbrella right there. 
Alright, that's actually a shoe buckle right there. That's pretty good. We got another, some brass. End of a pocket knife. More brass. Uh, <clears throat> two Indian heads. I think one of the... I think one's 83 and an 88 or something like that. Uh, this is a... Um, for a oil lamp. And it does have some markings on it. On the back of it. I might have to try to do some electrolysis and clean that up. Uh, Kristen, what how do we have this? This is pretty cool. This is a Civil War uh, shoe uh, a plate. It goes on the bottom of the shoe. Uh, pretty cool. Well, look, it's in a clover shape. Not bad. I think that thing will straighten up really nice right there. All kind of buttons. There's three, six, nine. There's 11 buttons right there. All kind of different designs on them. Different, you can see some designs on some of them and all. And uh, definitely, uh, definitely a lot of buttons in that field. Uh, this is a um, marine button, Civil War marine button. You see the eagle and the anchor. And that's the same thing. There's another one, a small one, Eagle and Anchor. Uh, that's an unknown coin. I'll put a picture up there and see if y'all can help me identify that. Because this is a weird, weird coin. Almost looks like a person sitting there with a little staff in their arm or something. I, that one really had me baffled right there. Put down in the comments if you might think you know what that might be. I have no clue on that one. We know what this one is, though. I think it's an 1854 seated. Liberty Dime. That is, and it's in good shape, too. Beautiful, man. I was glad to see some silver come out today. Got silver yesterday on a real. Got silver today on seated Liberty. A uh, couple um, lead seals. I think one of them has some markings on it somewhere. But anyway, i tell you what. Amazing day. Uh, oh, my God. If you could do that every day. Holy smoke. We're killing it out there. I'm telling you. And we'll be going back. So stay tuned. I right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, blow, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master, and we'll see you tomorrow on another adventure. Stay tuned.